and develop overarching sort of umbrella themes for the entire store um, and from those themes we will get the seed of an idea for a window scheme um, so for example a really important scheme like Christmas we'll get you know quite a, quite a solid direction from the creative office but at other times of year as the year it might be that the ideas come directly from my team. We're kind of always collaborating in the Selfridges window. So last year, for example, we, we did a huge number of collaborations. Um, the ones that our team were most excited by were things like, um, we did some windows with Tracy Emmett. We also did some windows with Mark Quinn, the, the British sculptor, which were really great at Christmas time. Um, and we did a, a really fantastic project with um, the Museum of Everything, um, who, who are here in London. They took over our entire window run um, and really just filled it with art, which was very exciting for us. In a way, I think all, all the kinds of people that we've ever dreamed of collaborating with, we've had the opportunity to here. So, you know, when I was um, a, a teenager at art college, I absolutely loved the young British artists like Mark Quinn, who we've just talked about. Um, so really, I think working for a brand like Selfridges really affords us the opportunity to, to collaborate with sort of absolutely anyone and everyone. In fact, some of our most fun collaborations are sometimes just with students that we've scouted at graduate shows. They can be the most, the most rewarding and the most innovative. Our creative process is um, actually reasonably structured. Uh, the Windows team has 10 permanent staff and the team grows when we're installing. We employ many freelancers. There can be, there can be as many as maybe 40 people working on the Windows at any one time. We begin with a sort of research and development phase. Um, we almost call it the sort of hunting and gathering phase. And really that's when our, our design and concept team um, go out and see exhibitions. They, they see pop-ups, shops, they watch films. They just gather creative information. Um, my team travel quite a lot, so my style and manager, Hannah, goes to the International Fashion Weeks and um, we also go to things like maybe the Venice Biennale or Milan Design Week. We go to a huge amount here in London, we try and see as much as we can, um, of things like graduate shows, um, you know, film launches and once we gather all this information we begin to streamline it into um, simply into packs where we gather images and research and really it, quite often you just see trends emerging and you see concepts emerging that you think will be useful for the year ahead. Um, so once we've decided on a series of concepts, um, we'll take those to our board of directors and present them, and they will sign off the concept direction. And from then, our design team will literally design window by window based on the concept that's been signed off. The, the windows are part of the DNA of the store. Um, they're what a lot of our customers know us for, and really the windows are part of the, I guess, the heritage of the store. They've been famous since our opening um, as being innovative creative spaces and I you know I feel like it's my duty to, to retain that reputation. Um, you know people customers come here specifically to see the windows. I get hundreds of calls around the Christmas period um, from customers wanting to know when we're launching our Christmas windows because they want to come down especially to visit them and they'll plan trips around them. Um, so yeah it's a, it's a real responsibility they're very very intrinsic to the brand. We're probably a little bit unlike other stores in that we don't always require the windows to be full of product. Quite often we will work with artists and designers and creative collaborators on, on the windows and sometimes they don't have any product in them at all. Um, and I guess that's because we want to do something that's going to really inspire our customers. So sometimes we, we don't necessarily want to put a dress in a window but likewise at other times it's really important to us to showcase and shout about the incredible edit that our buyers have bought into. So. You know, there's certain times of year, for example, maybe during London Fashion Week when we're going to really want to shout about our British designers. Um, and maybe, you know, during Freeze Week we want the windows to, to be a little bit more art related. 
Um, it's very difficult to measure um, the success in terms of sales figures of the windows. There's lots of different things you can look at, you know, whether um, column inches equates to successful windows and the amount of press you get, whether it's sales and how many, you know, how many of a dress have sold. Um, there's lots of different ways to measure.